to be when you grow up? Now I want you to think of your answer. Are you answering from your heart? Are you answering to please society? Hello, my name is Rachel, and I come from the small fishing town of Digby, Nova Scotia. And this past summer, I was very fortunate to have had the opportunity to be a day camp counselor at our local recreation center. One day during snack, one of my junior campers looked at me and said, what do you want to be when you grow up? I thought of this for a second and answered, as usual, I'm not sure. She awaited for me to ask her the question. So Presley, what do you want to be when you grow up? She was waiting there with pure excitement at the edge of her seat and finally said, well, actually, I want to be a figure skater that is also a hairdresser that also flies to the moon. The imagination that lit up her face melted my heart. Her answer was limitless. I remembered that as a kid, when my parents asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, I told them that I wanted to be a horse. And not just any horse, but the <laughs> fastest, most beautiful horse that you have ever seen. Although my dream was physically impossible, we shared the same sense of imagination and wonder. It's really quite unfortunate that as we become adolescents, our ability to dream without limits diminishes. I believe that as we get older, we go through a transition phase. This transition phase consists of constantly second-guessing our dreams to the point where we become truly unsure. Then there can be a long period of uncertainty where we really do not have an answer. But why do we begin to doubt ourselves and place limits on our dreams? Because of pressure. We experience an immense amount of pressure in the run of a day. Pressure made by our parents, by ourselves, by our friends, and even by complete strangers. We pressure our parents to buy us toys. We are pressured by our parents to do well at school. We are pressured by our friends to drink, but my favorite is that we are pressured into making decisions that we are not ready for. At a very young age, kids are asked what they want to be when they grow up. However, as a kid, you aren't expected to have your whole life figured out. But as you start to get older, the seriousness of this question changes greatly. It's almost like when you hit the age of 14 and you are still unsure, there's something wrong with you. When we respond that we are uncertain, it seems to evoke disappointment or disapproval. Youth should not be pressured into making this decision so early. Do you know why? It's because under pressure, we tend to make the decision to please society rather than making the decision from our heart. Have you ever reread a book or rewatched a movie and taken away a whole different concept that you weren't ready for earlier in your life? Recently, this happened to me with The Bee Movie. The Bee Movie is a movie that I'd watched in the past, but this time it really opened my eyes. Barry Benson is a bee living in a hive in Central Park. After graduating from college, Barry is rather disappointed at the prospect of spending the rest of his life doing one single job. While all other bees are content with this, Barry wants more and dreams without limits. Barry's dream is to be a pollen jock. Pollen jocks are the only bees who can exit the hive. They accumulate pollen and return it to the hive. However, to be a pollen jock, they say it is a dream that you have to be born into. Meaning, you have to be big, you have to be strong, and you have to be wild. This does not stop Barry. Without any training or equipment, he exits the hive and enters the real world. After facing some troubles and difficulties, he proves that he is more than worthy to be a pollen jock and becomes one, even though he does not have all the qualities listed. So what is the lesson that we can take from Barry? Behind everything we do, there is a meaning, whether it is a message you are trying to convey or a feeling you are trying to share. Barry proves that we should not be following in the footsteps of others. If you got a dream, go for it. I mean, hey, we're our own person for a reason. This made me realize that we need more Barry Bensons in this world. We need innovators, we need change makers, and we need leaders. So before you go to sleep tonight, I want you to think, 
How can you better yourself to be a leader? What will motivate you to really go for it and not care what others think? And most of all, who is going to push you to be the best that you can be? Imagine, follow through, and then create. So let's return to that question. What do you want to be? Our life is full of choices, and this common question is not something that you should be stressed out about. Instead of what do you want to be, concentrate on who do you want to become? What are your goals? What do you want to accomplish? And most of all, how do you want to live your life? The idea of choosing a career by the first thing that comes to mind and thinking it will work out, chances are it probably won't. You need to discover your strengths, your weaknesses, and most of all, you need to discover yourself. So don't be afraid to fail miserably. Failing is just a learning process. Don't be afraid to try new things. You may discover your true passion. Don't be afraid to push yourself beyond your limits. You are the only person standing in your way. And most of all, don't be afraid to be unsure. Uncertainty simply means that we are still finding ourselves. So next time someone asks you what you want to be when you grow up, smile, chuckle, and say with confidence, something good, something very good. Thank you.